I always feel as if this piece is a little bit like listening to the Four Seasons as if you're asleep or dreaming. It's a piece that almost everybody who knows any kind of classical music knows the original version incredibly well. And for me, this, this, this recomposition is a sort of new way of listening to it. The structure of the piece remains the same. It's each concerto is, is in three movements, essentially fast, slow, fast. The original Vivaldi is really written to some sonnets. Each movement has a, has a poem which goes with it. And in the score, there's a, there's a description of what's happening at every moment in the piece. So whether it's um, you know, mosquitoes and flies buzzing or skaters and shivering and all this kind of thing. The Richter doesn't follow that in the same way because so much of the original Vivaldi material isn't there anymore. It's, it's amazing the extent to which people have taken this piece to their hearts. Um, but I think it's probably because, although there's only about a quarter of the original material there, the essence of the original Vivaldi is still, is still in the Richter piece. I've played the Vivaldi Four Seasons quite a lot over the years and this is massively different. There's so much stuff that is nearly like Vivaldi but not quite that really kind of messes with your head slightly when you're trying to figure it out. And he brings so many new colours and new sound worlds to Vivaldi. So the essence remains and yet it's, it becomes this entirely new thing. I mean it's kind of like playing rock music but at the same time you're playing Vivaldi and it's an awful lot of fun. Often when I've done the Vivaldi Four Seasons, we've done it with very small numbers, so just a couple of violins and then single strings for the lowers. With the Richter, he's very specific about his numbers, and quite often it's played with much bigger forces, but we've taken it back to those much smaller numbers. The clarity is really great in the different lines, and what comes through is it, it very, very exciting. When we were trying to decide how to program this disc, we were trying to find different sound walls that somehow had links. The Richter finishes in the most incredible moment of stillness and intimacy, and we're following on from that on the disc with Basque's Lonely Angel, which starts in a very similar sort of mood and world and sound world. Lonely Angel is, is such an incredibly beautiful piece of music. Um, the, the way the violin just sits over the top of these beautiful textures in the orchestra and, and these incredible sound worlds that he comes up with is a very special piece of music. Pet's Fratris, um, which closes the disc, also uses elements of this Baroque sound world. Um, it starts with this figuration in the violin very quietly, also very intimate, just going across the strings um, and really brings an incredible close to this disc. <laughs> 